Call out me how about me how shy about him with Kakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who will shall a warm salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out to spread the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth of sincerity and truth. I write presenting their bodies as the living sacrifices we would talk. I write shout warm to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yahmaya from the Great Millstone on Chicago camp basically and I'm just touching on a lesson concerning, you know, life, you know, and persecution, you know, how brothers walk in that bitterness with their head down and um this is not the season to do that, man. Rather it be from the persecution from high, you know, as far as Esau taking us and doing whatever the hell he want and doing this BS in the media, or rather it be the BS is happening at your job or happening with your woman, you know that it's because something's being triggered in this earth, man. We're being forged by the fire. Yeah, how about Shimmy, how Shai is refining us, but hey, guess what, man? We're about to win, man, and you gotta be confident in that win. Everybody not just gonna be dragged off and burned and get their dicks cut off and the Lord just gonna leave us hopeless, man. Hell no, man. It's going to be men that are left here that get delivered, man, that get new bodies that's going to destroy this place, man, along with the Lord Yahweh Shah that's going to receive spiritual powers, man. All right, according to the Holy Scriptures, man, some men have to be set up to do that. Majority of the elect, majority of the elect will be set up to do that, man. You can't walk around with your thumb in your ass and your head in the ground, man. And I just got to fucking say it like that, man, because a lot of Jake just... Fucking gloomy all goddamn day and doomy all goddamn day. Do you not believe that the Lord is gonna set the elect up with power from on high, man? Goddamn. The the scriptures say, you know, when the Lord uh, when the enemy shall rush in, you know, the Lord shall lift up a standard, man. We are that standard. Yeah, how about Shimmy how shall rot us off? Alright, we are the men of the elect, but the men of the elect are up that standard, man, and the men who are doing these works. All right, suffering these small persecutions, you know, with the job situation, the living situation, the woman situation, you know, the afflictions in your body you might have or whatever, man. I say it all the time, man. We just taking small L's for the big W. And these not even L's, man. The, we are presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice and bearing our cross. So how about Shimei Hosha could give us this big win. Now, if it's your judgment, you know, for me, how about Shimei Hosha to die? You know, hey, shit, die in the truth, man. Die as a man. You know, but it's brothers who are not going to die, man. And even in death, that's glory. Precious is the death of the saints in, in, in the sight of the Most High, you know. But this, don't be fretting and shook up by this persecution, man. This is the time where we win, man. What the fuck's going on? You know? All this should bring a mindset of victory, man. Yes, we're close. Yes, we're closer. You got to be confident in that, man. You can't not teach that to Jake and not be confident in that. You can't not read about, you know, Esau's and rulership, all through the spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shimei, our child, us going into slavery, us falling down and not coming up. A lot of guys still got that a low self-esteem, so to speak, where they don't think they're going to make it, man. And that creates doubt, and then that creates fear. I don't believe in that. Like, I believe that I'm going to make it. <laughs> That's just fucking that. Not that I did anything great and mighty, but that I put my faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and, and did the work. And, and, and hopefully, you know what I'm saying? He, he, I mean, he said he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. He said he's not going to forget our labor and love so long as we keep doing the works through the faith and, and depend on our deliverer, he's going to deliver us, man. Shit. This is our, um, oh, man, I don't even know which one to get first. Um, I had a couple of them that I was thinking about. Con, I'll get this one. It says, love working no ill to it. This is like it. Romans 13 and 10. It says, love working no ill to his neighbor for love. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that's what we're doing. This reasonable service is a labor of love. All right, and that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai commanded us to do. All right, it says, and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of a sleep for our salvation, for our Salakia, Romans thirteen and eleven. 
And then knowing the time that now it is high time to awake up out of, out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than when we believe. So our salvation, not our destruction. This society is going to be destroyed, all right? We're not going to be destroyed with this society. This is our salvation, man. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. And that's the destruction of this society pursuing Isaiah, what, 66 and 15? Pursuing Ezekiel, what's that, uh, 25? In about 14, I write Daniel, the 12th chapter, in the first verse, uh, Revelations, the first chapter, all through the scriptures, man. You know, them, those are just few of many, man. Destruction and salvation go hand in hand. But if you are a member of the elect, majority of us will make it out of here, man, without tasting death, man. And you got to believe and know that, man. And all these things are happening. But because the Lord is on his way back, man. Hopefully we be found blameless, of course, when the Lord is, 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 is coming back. But all we can do is the work, man. We ain't supposed to be shaky. And if you have that spirit, you pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai get that spirit up off you, man. This is Proverbs 13 and 9. So like the 13 and 19, it says the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, and it is an abomination uh, this, this is not what I want. Is this it? That's, that's not it. Con, this is it, Salaki, Proverbs 10 and 24. It says, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon them, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. And that's what we desire. All right? The desire of the righteous is to be delivered. The desire of the righteous is the kingdom of heaven. All right? To rule this place. To get out of this flesh. To not be able to sin. And with the destruction of this place, that is soon to come, pursuant to the Holy Bible, all right, in which they're trying to weaponize the Holy Bible, because they know this is the true standard. This is the true power. All right. This is the truth that makes us free, as the Lord Yahweh Shai said. We're about to get delivered, man. And that's going to be the desire of the righteous. Once again, Proverbs 10 and 24 says, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon them. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. All right. This is Proverbs 13 and 12. It says, hope different make the heart sick, but when desire coming, it is a tree of life. All right? So all, all this time, hey, man, our heart has been sick. We have been bitter. We have been vexed, man. All right? With the job situations, the living situation, these damn women being over us, man, our kids, us not being able to raise our kids really properly in the society. All right? And, and, I, and I hope, you know, but I, but I hope in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, it's strengthened through these afflictions, man, and these trials and these tribulations. That's why when the desire comes, then it is coming. Hey, it's a tree of life, man. This is like when you're going through something, man, and you probably hit on the lotto, you hit on the numbers, you hit at the boat. You know, you get that, 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 that small gratification, man. Well, our desire and our gratification, you know, is coming on a big scale. You know, your woman probably been giving you shit for two or three weeks. You go out one night to the club and just meet the baddest fucking girl in the club and you get some pussy from her, you probably never see her again, but it, it don't be no feeling like it, man. All right? Whatever it is, man, the Lord, hey, I tell you, man, even on this side, the Lord always throw a dog a bone, man. So, and, and those be fake boosters, man, to show you that, hey, man, like the brother in L.A. say, um, oh, no, I think it's in the Bay, you know, one of the brothers in California, he always say, man, you know, the Lord gonna hook us up. And that's true, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to leave his servants out here bones dry, man. Does not the scripture say it? He's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him, man. He's for us, man. The scripture say if, if he's with us, who, who could be against us, man? The Lord is not going to forget our labor of love, man. He's not uh, some nigga. You know, he's not Esau, man. You look at Esau, man. You work for him for two, three weeks to get a fucking paycheck, man. And you actually believe in that, man. You don't think the Lord is going to pay and reward his servants, man. It's more than gloom and doom to the scriptures, man. 
the salvation of the elect is coming, man. To this place is gloom and doom, man. Straight up. And nothing else, man, because it's well fucking deserved. Ain't no peace in this place, man. We need to fuck out of here, man. This, uh, Second Corinthians 4 and 1, it says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the hour deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of the hour. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Hey, this gospel of this salvation, man, and this vengeance that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is bringing on this place, it is hid unto them that are lost, man. But seeing we have received this ministry, we have this service, we have these mercies, we have this light, we have this labor of love, man, that the Lord has given us, man, as a faith booster, man. All right, we have the beginning of spiritual powers, man. All right. It's like Jake said, we got the keys. We got the real keys, man. All right. We got faith, man. We, we have hope in something that we know coming, man. Whether you people believe it or not. All right. The word of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, uh, um, is not void, man. This is what he proposed, and this is what is going to happen, man. So you brothers shouldn't be shaken up in persecution, man. All right. You should know that the time is near for the election to be delivered, man. Just be found blameless, man. Matter of fact, a small roll. Come, this is Philippians 1 and 27. It says, Only let your conversation, your conduct, be as becoming the gospel of Mashiach. All right, and if you understand the gospel of Mashiach, you understand that salvation is coming to those who believe. All right. And that rather I come and see you or be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Because that's all we can do, man. All right. It says, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which to them is an evident token of perdition, perdition but unto you salvation and that of your hour. For if see so... It's prodigious to them, all right? But on, but on our terms, it is salvation, man. So we're to be terrified by nothing, man, by none of this persecution from niggas in the world, all right? From, 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 from any, for anything that's going on, man, from Esau coming down with the hammer. Hey, this is our turn now, man. This is the beginning of the end, man. Asalaki, this is the end of the end. When Yahweh Shai died, all right, and, and, and pursuing the Hebrews, the first chapter, all right, that was the beginning of the end. 2,000-something years ago. This is the end of the end, man. And the beginning of our kingdom. Which, as the scripture has said, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man. Don't fret. It, it's our turn. Don't be scared of your turn, man. Our desire is to come, man. But with that being said, man. Hey, call allow me. How about Shemmy? How about Shemmy? How about Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect. Um, Shalom.